April 10th, 2020, out at the bee yard. Got Dan Norsini out here with us. Howdy, howdy. Mountain View Apiaries is here to help. What do we got back here? We got a couple of hives of bees back here heading to the new yard. We got the big hive of Italians and Queen Liberty in the little one here. So bees, yard's looking a little empty. I had three of them caged in uh, to move today, but uh, this hive right here I was going to move and they found a spot where they could get out right there. And so I had a leak, I got here and there was a hundred or more foragers out and so I'm just leaving them alone. But um, that freezes up a stand right here to put nukes on. And I did just go through Colossus 1, did a hive rotation on her. Um, and actually I'm really surprised because she's a great big, it's a great big colony. It doesn't look like there's many bees there, but there's bees, uh, she's laying in the middle deep. She was, this one was up top, the white one. She's laying in the middle deep and the upper. And so um, I moved everything down. So she's now laying in there. There is still brood in the medium. I didn't want to put it between two deeps. And so I just left it up top, let that brood hatch out, then bees will stay on it. And got the apivar on. And so we're cruising. I have three more, one, two, three more inspections to do today. And uh, these damn bees are back on the feed, back on the old feeder here. Look at that, isn't that amazing? They love it. And it's good for them. Uh, it's just, kind of initiates the nectar flow and honestly what it's doing is just kicking me out you know so let's say that the first part of the nectar is still uh two weeks out 10 days out uh for stuff opening up around here and so this is just kind of a, to trick them but it's going to trick those queens into laying because they know that nectar's coming in and that's what they need to really ramp up production mm -hmm. so we are going to uh, move out here to the new yard and uh, set some hives up. Here we go. The more the more the merrier, Jackie. Oh. Well, anyhow, good to meet you, okay? Oh. So here we are out at the new yard. This is the south yard. That's the view from the south yard. Lots of forage out here. It's going to be a great spot for these bees. And so here is the hive stand for the mother hives. And then this is my trailer. And this is going to be uh, the setup for the nukes. Um, and so half of the nukes will come down to this yard for breeding with drones. And then the other nukes will stay up at the other yard. But so Liberty is in and the big hive of Italians are in and uh, we've got two more, two or three more to move down. Um, probably, th I'll probably put three hives here. So these guys are in, I'm gonna head back to the yard and uh, I've got three more hive inspections and rotations to do and we're gonna be good. So let's get back to the yard. back out at the yard and I pulled up and just got done moving the hives like I showed you. Uh, pulled up and I could the bees were just pissy. As soon as I got out they were all over me. I could smell the attack pheromone you know and like what in the hell is the deal. And I knew that they were out of food and so um, I fired their feeder back up here and uh, now everyone seems to be a little happier uh, they got a bunch of food going here now oh shit it's running out the other side hold on tighten that guy up it's running out the side here anyway uh, there they are on the feeder um, I'm sure I'll get some kind of a comment from somebody of how bad open feeding is um, Every beekeeper keeps differently, and I don't have an issue with open feeding right now. Mite counts are very, very low, um, and though it does kind of give them like a robbing instinct, uh, hives aren't being robbed, they're just here. This is the only nectar source out, and so instead of going 
every single hive and so on when you have hives this size as big as mine um, it's not like you put a little boardman little jar feeder on i mean you've got to put a top hive feeder on with gallons of syrup because they'll take gallons of syrup a day right now and so it's just much easier for me to pour in five gallons of syrup and just let them have it and uh, take it as needed it's only going to be out for the day today uh, because the next two days we have kind of crappy weather coming in and so anyway uh, here we are back at the yard you can hear this hothead buzzing me right now seems like there's always one that's got to mess with you these girls are done oh look at that <clears throat> we have the Dalton hive to do the big hive of carnies to do and the big hive of Cordovans to do. So the plan here is we're going to start with the Carnies, go to the Cordovans, and then the Dalton Hive last. Um, the Dalton Hive is probably my pissiest hive. That's this hive right here. Uh, they are probably the meanest bees that I own. Um, sometimes they're really cool. Look at that big old drone. That's how I know it's time for splits when you see drones out. See that big old pretty drone right there? Um, but I need to get through, get everything done. So let's go. Um, I'll go grab my tripod so at least you guys can see what I'm doing. So the wind has picked up pretty decently. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to... Uh, do hive work and film at the same time these bees are pissed um, but I wanted to show you this this is the big hive of carnies lower box is full middle box is full lower or I'm sorry upper box is full middle box is full lower box is full I cannot tell you how big this colony is it is unbelievable and so what I did was I accidentally left a bunch of old um, not old, but I let them draw out uh, foundationless comb in that green box right there. And uh, damn it, the queen laid it all full of drones because they're larger cells. And so there's a ton of drones in here. A ton of workers too, a lot of worker brood, but a ton of drones. So uh, honestly, what I need for the yard, uh, making splits, but um, yeah, unbelievable amount of bees, huge. Every box is this full, Every look at this box. Every single box is this full. Yeah, they're at summer capacity right now. So uh, let me go through these guys and get them buttoned up because they're not happy. I did restack these guys. She did have open frames underneath. I never found the queen in here, but it was windy and there's so many bees. One thing about having big colonies, it's awesome. People love having huge colonies, mm -hmm. but uh, if you don't know how to work them, it uh, can be very, very challenging. And so um, what I did was I switched these boxes. I did put a queen excluder on right here. But I need to check this box one more time to make sure she's not in there. So that she, you know, because you wouldn't be able to get out then. So I'm going to go through that box one more time. And if I don't find her... I'm going to close them up and call it good. Changed my mind. Decided to go into the Cordovans. That is a hell of a population. You guys see this? So, medium, deep, deep. A lot of work to do here. Uh, those guys are closed back up and then I did put that escape board on here yesterday um, because there was in three deeps and it worked all the bees are down in two deeps and so I have an extra deep over there in the pickup it's empty but if I get into these girls man they're so chill uh, these Cordovans are great bees so um, let me um, let me start through here. I know that there's a ton of brood up in this medium, and so I'll probably just leave it. Uh, we'll just see how it goes, but huge colony. Is that an amazing colony? All right, let's get it started. So 
So I haven't found this queen yet in the light here, but I wanted you guys to see how pretty these bees are. And so there is a little bit of brood. It's a little chilly, and so I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, and it's not cold, it's like 67 degrees, but the wind out here, like I have always talked about, uh, just cools it off a little bit. And so I'm gonna go back through these frames. I haven't seen the queen in here. Um, and so if she's not in here, she's small, she is marked, but she's small. But if I don't find her, I will put a queen excluder on this upper and keep her laying down below. But they're just such pretty bees. Super blonde. And their drones are beautiful. They're just the most orange I'm looking for one. I see a couple other drones in here that aren't as much, but uh, just these super beautiful, almost orange and yellow drones. They're just really pretty. So if I find another one, I find some of them because there's a bunch of drones up here, which is great. This is going to be a good hive to make splits. But look at these bees. See how blonde they are? They're just the most blonde bees you've ever seen. And obviously the darker striped ones are just older you know um but really really pretty pretty bees so those are the cordovans well so much for that plan and there she is that is my 2019 cordovan queen Compliments of Conan Brothers. She's pretty. You see how pretty she is? Oh, she is just the prettiest blonde, little blonde bee. Where'd she go? There she is. Where is she? She's covered up right now. There she is. Uh, I had missed her because she was up here laying, and so, um, so much for that idea. Beautiful bee. And I'm going to put her back in. I was looking again for one of those drones I was talking about, too, but I don't see any. So let me get her back in so that she's nice and safe, because I do see a lot of brood on this frame, too. What a great lot of bees. All right, so uh, maybe you had the thought of, well, why don't you just take the queen when you find her and move her uh, to the lower boxes so you can put on an excluder? And that's exactly what I did. Um, I did not... Oh, no. Uh... Did I rotate boxes? I don't remember now. No, I thought I said I was just going to leave them on this hive. I didn't want to rotate them because there was so much brood in the medium and so much brood in the red deep. The bottom yellow was empty as it expected, you know, um, but um, I know that she can fill that up fairly quickly. And so what I did was I did um, just check to see how everything looked. Um, they had a couple of frames. There's one sitting next to the hive there that was empty. And so because I had that other deep over there uh, that I took off of this little hive that was full, I ended up, uh, was able to put in a couple of uh, pure drawn frames, empty drawn frames in there. And so uh, they're full. And so what I did was um, everybody got Apivar. There is Apivar on this hive. I did also find her uh, where she was up in the medium there that you saw. And I just put, I took the frame that she was on. I don't like, I've picked my queens up before, but I've got my gloves on right now and I didn't want to pick her up with the glove and so what I did was I turned the frame so that it was sideways on the super and just 
uh, I took my hive tool and just gently nudged her, just kept pushing her down, down, down until she came onto the tops of the frames. And then she just crawled down into this box, which allowed me to put on an entrance redo or a uh, queen excluder here. And so the brood is up there. The brood will stay warm because of the bees that are up there, but she won't be able to go back up in there and lay. And that's ultimately what I was after was I didn't want her. I want to empty that suit, that uh, medium out. Um, or maybe I leave it on there and they just fill it with spring honey. Um, because in about 42 days for the apivar is what they say, 42 days. In about 42 days, the black locust flow will be coming on and that might be kind of fun to see if they can put up um, a super full of black locust honey. Um, so that is my day. I got one hive that I didn't do. The Dalton Colony, it's four o'clock, it's Friday. I'm exhausted, I've had a long week. They will be fine um, until I get back out here to do them again. So. I never found the queen in this hive. There's so many bees and it's so big that I never found the queen in there. Um, I went through this upper box really, really well until I knew that she wasn't in there and put on uh, the queen excluder here, but never did find that queen up there. So, say la vie. That's what I have. Um, I'm done for a while with hives. It's supposed to get crappy weather um, this weekend and so I am going to let these guys go until next week and then next week I will um, move hives again. Look at these damn bees over here still eating. I'll move hives again. Open this up. But until that time um, I just wanted them to get as much, ooh, there's a queen hornet. That is a queen right there. Do you see that thing? I'm going to smash her. Got her. Yes, you want to get all the queens you can right now because uh, kill your queen yellow jackets and you won't have as many yellow jacket problems. Anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching Post Falls Honey Company. I am done with hives for a while so that's what we got i hope you guys have a happy easter and i will talk with you guys soon thanks for watching